I want to talk about John Wick because John Wick Four is doing great. Everybody, it's doing it's doing so, so much better good. than I thought it was to be. They didn't expect it to do bad, but like if you look at it right now, their opening weekend they made one hundred and thirty seven point five million dollars, which is massive for this franchise. Ninety four percent Rotten Tomatoes, six point four million estimated from seventeen or seven hundred. 771 international box office markets, 75% above profit of, of John Wick 3, 75% above for opening weekend, which is nuts. And also, the big thing was, if you've seen it yet, there is a very definitive ending for John Wick in this. Very definitive. Okay. And the idea before, the idea before, I want to spoil too much, but the idea before was they wanted to do four and five back to back. And they went back and forth and they decided, no, we're just going to end it at four. We're not going to do a five. It's done. Had a whole powwow about it. Now, but now, because of how great it is, everyone's talking about the up and down the whole board are like, we got to do another one. We got to do another one. So much so, the Lionsgate Motion Picture Group president, Joe Drake, said, we're all going to take a tiny rest and then scratch out ideas about whether there's a credible way to get into five. But there's no guarantee. Yes. They're talking about maybe doing a prequel. They're talking about, you know, or oh. maybe finding a way oh, for John to keep going. going. I know, but they're talking about. Now, he is in Ballerina, the spinoff series. Keanu Reeves in there as John Wick, so he will make an appearance in there. So that's that's you're gonna get some more Keanu still being John, but the idea is because of how big of a hit it is, they want to do more. The director wants to do more. Keanu will do more. I mean, like, if you have a story, do it. But then again, here's the question: If it's such a big hit and it did the best out of all of them, do you leave on a high note? Sabrina, what do you think? Do you leave on a high note? You saw this. Do you think you should just leave it as it is, or should they do another one? Oh, are you? Are you fucking serious? You know the answer to that question. Like, I, mean, I will take but, John but Wick it was all so good. day, every day. No, it doesn't matter. I love John Wick. John Wick is like literally my spirit child. Like I, well, I can't, I, I cannot get enough of him. I went and saw it the other. I, like, I, I, you know, you both know. I saw it, and I was like, I need to go see it again the next day. Like that's yeah. how amazing it was, and that's how much I wanted to see it again. Like it's, I love, and I'm not. Like an action, I know I'm like knowledgeable about this stuff, but like this is not my genre. John it's Wick, two hours and fifty minutes too. No, it was it was the longest movie ever, but it was <laughs> it didn't feel like it was long. It didn't feel like it was long because it was like so engaging and amazing, and I was like, what the fuck? He's so great as a character. Like this is the character that Keanu Reeves was born to fucking play, and I am so grateful that like my brother years ago was like watch this movie John Wick and I was like I do not want to watch John Wick and then yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm spoiler alert the dog dies in the first like 10 minutes and I started yeah. crying hysterically and I'm like I don't know why you're making me watch this, this so he's like just keep watching and I'm like I hate you That's and then awesome. at the end of the movie I was like kill everyone like it <laughs> literally I, I I can't I can't I like I it's Brian I tell people how much do I pay to go to a movie Chris tell yeah. people how much do I pay to go to a movie You'll like never go to a movie unless I force never. you to go to a movie. Yeah. Never. Yes. And it's pretty when I saw us by herself in Dustin Florida. I went to Commons and bought a ticket to go see John Wick. And then the next day I woke up and I said, I have to see it again. It's so also, I, it's, you know, the, the crazy here. thing is, it's I'll also, it's all also the Keanu's. John Wick we can get. It's also Keanu's second best opening, a second best like domestic opening. And this first is number one is Matrix Reloaded. And then this. If that shows you anything, it's been a long time since that's a big opening. Dude, so for him too, so, he's it's like so good. It's like a giant. He's like bringing her. And I heard he's amazing. the nicest guy in the world too. By the yep. way, which I love. Heard that too. I would just like the show. To watch say it quickly. Not not related in loving memory of Lance Reddick. Yeah, Lance is awesome. Lance is such a great person. But Chris, this is uh, what do you? Great. Chris, what do you think? Do you think that they should make another one, or should they let yes. it be? I mean, it did so great, no. but I mean, do you leave it at a high note? Keep going. No. Keep going? Keep you don't think it should stop. The other one, the, the next one will make more money than this one did. And you think sure. so? I, I was also looking if they made like a, a John Wick uh, video game. They there need, is no video game, is there? There. Well, uh, it's uh, yeah, sure. like, it's shitty. Um, but, <laughs> uh, but PS5 or Xbox needs to come up with a John Wick game. Uh, because it's, it, it it will do really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That just seems like it writes itself. That game. It seems like that would be the easiest thing to produce. And now I, you know, I, now I'm yeah. 
I don't know how that isn't like a big deal. I can just see it being like a huge, huge hit. What I'm getting out of this is that we should make a video game and we have to acquire the rights and we'll all be rich. So like, don't anyone steal our ideas. I'll kill you. So we're John 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 with you. I was John with you. We're John with you. From him? From, I don't think that. From the wicker. The wicked man. Well, from the from the studio, whoever does that. Yeah. But I, I mean, the fact that it's this big of a hit, and of course, like they've all done well, but they didn't expect it to be this great. And the thing is, like you, like, you're both saying, like if you do another one, maybe it's one of those things that keep going up every time. So maybe you're right. Maybe they'll just make more and more money every time. I mean, as long as Keanu can do it. And Keanu said too, he was talking about. He's like, people tell me I look the same. But I'm definitely getting older, guys. I'm getting older, I mean, so I don't know how long I can do this. Though. It's so crazy. People tell him. He says people tell him all the time. And the fact that he does all those stunts is so impressive. Yeah. Well, the director is a stunt guy from The Matrix. That's I the coolest know. thing about the whole situation. It's like his stunt guy is like, I want to write a script. Will you do it if I write a script? He's like, Yeah. If you if you write it, Fuck I'll do yeah. it. And it was John Wick. And look at it. Look at it now. And look at. Yeah, but then you, you also have a guy that knows stunts that well, too, that's able to direct because he was a stunt guy. He was a stunt coordinator. So you have, like, a heavy stunt movie, and you have Keanu kicking ass. I mean, it makes sense. And and GR says, my grandkids will be watching John Wick 25. They might be. I got to have some kids it, first, it you know? It would have to be his kid. It would have to be his kid. <laughs> but, but I'll, I'll bring up again Halloween. When, she, when they were going to reboot that, I was like, What are you doing, guys? This is going to be a good but, idea. But, like, this is not in reboot status yet. But it will. I mean, it, it could be. But I feel right. like that. Right. right. Like, you know, that, that at least they had Jamie Lee Curtis, like, as Laurie Strode. And, like, they had a, a string of evidence. Like, if they were going to reboot John Wick after John Wick, he'd somehow have to have had a child or something. You know something. what I mean? Like, there's not, not a string of... Right. of yeah. I feel like with that character, you don't want that, though. You don't want him to be weak ever. You want him to be still, like, doesn't matter how old he is. Kind of like Liam Neeson was, too. And Taken, Wait, like, Liam Neeson he kicked ass, too. as a child? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, well, the, well, then it, it leads the door for, like, oh, now I got to train my kid because I'm old. Now my kid's a new John Wick, and you know what I mean? I think well, that's no, a I mean, path that can go down that I don't think it should. Him. I don't think you should do that, though, you know? I think that causes problems. You know, I, I just think they just leave it at him. Don't bring a kid in because the formula works. It just works. It's, it's meant to I'm be. I'm just like, saying, if they're going to reboot it, like, in 10 years, they could. Like, right now, like, we're rocking. I think he's on fire. Yeah, on fire. And he should totally. keep on going. He's yep. on fire. Keep going. Yeah, keep it going. So John Wick 4, huge hit, everybody. I still haven't seen it. I want to see it this weekend. I think I'm going to finally see it. But the numbers speak for themselves. I'm see it, again tomorrow. it speaks for itself. This is a hit. Don't stop. We're asking. People are asking the studio. Can't stop. Won't stop. Give us some more John Wick because so we can't good. get enough. Everyone and the numbers it. prove so it. Good. And they said they're thinking about it. But honestly, that movie is coming. I know it's coming.